Hey guys, it's Move Goodies. What's up? We're back. Um, we're not doing any modding today. Uh, uh, sorry I didn't have the video out yesterday. I tried recording it and I forgot to record the audio. So, whoops. Uh, so, <laughs> here I am again. Uh, we're going to be making plugins, actually. I don't really know anything else about mods. Um... Although I still will be trying to learn. So a few things we need is a clips. You'll have it from if you had me before. Or, um, you've been doing the mods. At the top, you just go to File, Switch Workspace, Other, and then make a new workspace and stuff. So uh, the next thing that we have to do is um, we need a craft bucket and to create two folders one for YouTube plugins or whatever you want to call it and that's the workspace uh, when you start up Eclipse for the first time uh, it will ask you to set up a workspace uh, just name it whatever you want and select that folder uh, the next thing that we're gonna want is uh, a folder for our server and uh, craftbucket.jar is something that we need or spigot it's pretty it's just like the same thing um, I'll put uh, the craft bucket up for download because I don't think you can download a bucket anymore don't know why but uh, I tried the other day and it wouldn't work so <coughs> what we're gonna have to do here is uh, can't do that um, we want to open text edit and at the top, go to Format, Make Plain Text. And we want this code right here. Uh, code will be in the description. Uh, don't worry about that. And then <coughs> what we want to name this is uh, server starter dot command or anything you want dot command. Um, so now that that is done, make sure that this crap bucket dot jar uh, matches. Uh, oh, um, make sure that it uh, matches uh, this file right here. Okay, so now that that's in there. We have to allow it to run on the computer, so we need to open up the terminal. Type chmod space a a plus x space, and then drag that server starter document file in there, and hit return. Then you can close the terminal, and actually you can run your server. So now that our server is getting set up and all that um, we don't need to worry about it right now uh, what we have to do is go into Eclipse in this white area right click go new Java project I'm gonna name it YouTube plugin but you guys can name it whatever you want um, if you get that warning don't worry about it uh, what you want to do is go to properties Java build path uh, libraries, add external jars, and this craft bucket dot jar. Click OK. Now you have all the references for craft bucket. And um, here we go. New package me dot movie goodies dot YouTube. Uh, yes, YouTube plugin. Okay, new class. I'm gonna call it main, but you can call it whatever you want. <coughs> okay. So in this uh, file or uh, class, we need to type extends Java plugin implements listener, and just import Java plugin and listener um, don't worry about this stuff right now 
Uh, we'll get to that later, but uh, it's nice to have now. So we also need to create uh, a new file and call it plugin.yml. And we can also create um, a new file config.yml. <clears throat> we'll get to that later, so just don't worry about that. And then uh, also for the plugin.yml, uh, the stuff for that will be in there. So I don't know why it does that. It's supposed to be formatted differently. Just change it up so. Uh, just change it up so it matches all your stuff. So as you see here, we're making two commands: uh, test me and test all. That uh, sends a player message, sends the whole server message. So without further ado, let's get on with this. Um, so right here, we have to type um, public final logger equals logger dot on get logger minecraft okay and then import uh, logger from java.util.logging.logger and that part's done and then just public static and then the uh, main plugin class. In this case, it's main and then plugin. So now that that's done, let's get on with the plugin. Um, we're going to create these void things, uh, void things, uh, void enable, disable stuff. Um, this just enables and disables the plugin. So public void on enable. And ooh, uh, at override. Don't forget about that. Uh, if it says to change it, then change it. It's fine. And then we also have to do that again. At override, public void on disable. So boom. Now that that is done, um, we can actually create the stuff. So next thing that we have to type is public boolean. Boolean is a true or false statement. On command. Uh, on command. Command sender sender. Don't forget to keep on importing this stuff. Um, otherwise, it won't work. All right, what are you? Strange. Okay. Um. Then after that, it is. I'm doing this right, right? Command sender, sender, yeah. Command, command, string, eh, command, label, import uh, command from org.bucket.command, um, command label, and then string, and then the brackets, and then arcs. So, now that that's done, don't worry about this error. It's just a return statement. Don't worry about it. It's fine. All right. So next thing that we have to do is type player player equals player sender and import player. And now let's go ahead and make these commands. So if command label dot equals ignore case test me make sure test me is in uh, quotes um, so what this is saying is if the player types slash test me 
then we're going to do player dot send message and a chat color dot green import chat color the slash test me command works so that's one part done now our other command is else if command label dot equals ignore case meaning uh, equals ignore case means you could have half the letters capital half lowercase and they'll still work fine um, test all so if the player types slash test all then we're going to do bucket dot broadcast message chat color dot what's a good color we'll do dark red the slash test all command works so we get this error right here don't worry about it just hover over it and add return statement and boom no errors so the next thing that we want to do oh why am I still getting this error whatever if you get it ignore it doesn't mean anything uh, so now we go to export Java jar file next uh, select where you want to put it make sure it says dot jar and finish then we go reload uh, we got an invalid plugin dot yml huh yeah um, let's see what's up Okay, let's try that. No. Okay. Why are you failing? Okay. Reload. Boom. YouTube plugin enabling YouTube plugin version 1.0. Boom. So it works if we look at the commands. There's test all and test me. Don't worry about it if you get those errors. Um, we'll fix that soon. Uh, I'll see you guys in the game. Okay, guys. So when our server, the IP to your own server is local host, one word, just like that. So if we look at our plugins we have this so if we type slash test me says a ta uh, slash test me command works and if we look in the console we don't get anything now if we type this slash test all command slash test all command works and we also get that same message in the console in red so um that's it for this episode guys next episode will be uh more advanced it will uh be broadcasting kinda uh, like slash test all and then whatever comes after um, so yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time